Hi friends, in today's video here, I am going to cover the acupressure or acupuncture point REN17. So this point is a really great point to use, especially if you're encountering some emotional difficulty or stagnation. The point REN17 lies on the REN meridian, or sometimes we call this meridian the conception vessel. So the REN meridian runs all the way up through the midline at the front of the body. So sometimes the REN meridian is called the sea of yin because it is considered the more feminine or yin channel in comparison to the other central channel, which runs up along the back line of the body, the do or the governing vessel. So the REN meridian runs up along the front line of the body and at REN 17, this is an area where chi is said to collect and gather, specifically related to the pericardium. So REN 17 is a front mu point of the pericardium. And what this means is that mu is translated to collect or gather. And so this is a point where pericardium chi in particular collects and gathers. It's also a really special and unique point for a number of other reasons. It's also the meeting point of qi in general. So it's called a hui meeting point for just qi in general. And then also it's a meeting point of a number of other meridians as well. So this is where the spleen channel, the kidney channel, the small intestine and the san jiao meridian all meet with the ren meridian. So to find it here, we want to come right to the center of the chest, basically the center of the sternum. And the point is located on the midline at the fourth intercostal space. So you can find the fourth intercostal space, that's the space between the ribs, by just palpating along your chest, find the first, very first spaces really high up there close to your collarbone. And then you wanna just dip down and find those spaces until you get to the fourth. And then you trace your hand over right to the midline of the body. And that's REN17. In males, it's a little easier to find. It's right directly between the two nipples. That's REN17. And then of course, you know, in my acupuncture practice, I would use an acupuncture needle to really work with this point. But if you are not an acupuncturist, you can work with this point through tapping or through gentle pressure. You can also bring a kind of attention or um, mindfulness to this area when you're doing other practices like yoga or meditation, just by simply bringing your awareness and your intention to this area, you can start to work with the subtle body. So you may know that we could say that the subtle body or the energetic system can be divided into three main areas, the belly center, the heart center, and the head. And so REN17 is really the center of this heart area. And again, like I said, it's very closely connected to the pericardium. So in Chinese medicine, the pericardium is considered an organ on its own. And in particular, it has a very special relationship with the heart. So the pericardium is seen as the heart protector. The Ling Shu, one of our ancient texts that we use um, in Chinese medicine and in Taoist philosophy and thought, says that this area is considered the palace of the heart protector. And so this is referring to the pericardium. So on a physical layer, the pericardium helps to protect and support the heart, but also very much so on more of the psycho-emotional side of things as well. The pericardium is seen as a protective barrier for the emotional heart. So in Chinese medicine, the heart really um, processes and really relates to all emotion that passes through our consciousness. The spirit of the heart called the Shen is sometimes translated as mind because the mind in Chinese medicine is actually thought to reside in the heart, not in the head. And so this point not only supports the physical organ of the pericardium and the heart, but also this heart spirit of the Shen. So if the heart is remaining kind of closed or shut off for some reason, this could be due to the pericardium not opening. 
tasks. So the point helps us to regulate this function of the pericardium, knowing when to open to others and connect and to share our feelings and knowing when to be more protected or closed. And so it can be helpful to use if there is some dysfunction in that more psycho-emotional realm around opening and closing. So perhaps if we've felt betrayed or if we are having a hard time connecting and opening to others, this point can be particularly helpful in that realm. Now, along with some of the psycho-emotional uh, characteristics of this point, of course, it has some physical ones as well. So many of the points on this Ren meridian, this central channel that runs up along the front line of the body, actually descend Qi very strongly. So even though the meridian actually runs upwards, many of the points along this central channel help to move Qi downwards. In many of the East Asian healing arts, oftentimes we're trying to encourage qi to move downwards in order to create a kind of sense of grounding, a sense of connection to the earth, a sense of real connection to our deeper knowing. When qi and energy starts to rise upwards, this is when we start to have things like we call it rising yang or maybe heat, insomnia, anxiety, when qi is moving upwards, oftentimes this is dysfunctional. Now, not all the time, different organs have different functions that move qi in really specific ways. But this point in particular helps to move qi downwards, specifically for the stomach and the lungs. So when the lung qi and the stomach qi is moving upwards, that's generally pathological. We want stomach qi to move downwards. So for example, if you're experiencing indigestion, stomach qi may be moving upwards. And in that case, we want to encourage the qi to move downwards. And so this point would be very helpful. Same thing goes for lung chi. So if lung chi is not moving in the correct way, you could have a shortness of breath or some difficulty breathing, maybe associated with emotional difficulty like um, anxiety or restlessness or panic, something more extreme. And so again, this point helps to descend chi and helps to calm breathing. So you can find the point once again, right at the center of the chest. And if you are having any of those uh, feelings or experiences, simply just tapping the point like so with a few fingers, taking maybe five to 10 deep and slow breaths through the nostrils will help you to access the power of this point. I hope you enjoy and explore this point. And if you do want to learn more about this point, make sure to get over to the blog that's associated with this video. There's a lot more information about the pericardium and about this point and how to really work with some of the fire element energy in general. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again very soon.